I thought that Prince Harry would want to stay in the armed forces for as long as he possibly could. He likes the discipline. Uh, he likes being one of the lads. He likes being able to uh, cast off the royal cloak, if you like. Um, but I think uh, he didn't fancy flying a desk for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, he didn't want to uh, be sitting taking endless exams. He's not an ac academic person. Uh, you remember he left Eton with a, a B in art and a, a D in geography. Uh, so I don't think he was relishing the prospect of uh, endless exams. And I think his role for the future will be very heavily involved in the military anyway. So I think he's managed to come to a compromise. I think in the long term, uh, Prince Harry is definitely going to be looking to work with wounded veterans. It's what he has made his life's work already, really, for the past two years. Uh, we saw him putting on the Invictus Games last year, which was hugely successful. Uh, it was very significant that uh, in the statement that was put out uh, today with the announcement of him leaving the army, uh, the Chief of the General Staff referred to the Invictus Games as being his greatest achievement uh, during his uh, time, his 10 years uh, in the army. Uh, at the moment, Prince Harry is working with something called the Personal Recovery Unit, uh, which helps uh, wounded service personnel. And when he leaves the army in June, he's going to go back there as a volunteer to gain more and more experience and understanding uh, of what it is that is perhaps missing in, in the Army's treatment of wounded service personnel, good though it is. I think he's looking to find um, a gap in the market effectively where he can step in and, and really make a difference. Um, so he said in the past that his commitment to uh, wounded soldiers is a lifetime commitment uh, and I very much expect that's what we're going to see him doing.